Hi everyone, this is Gio Herrera. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, Gio Zavaya How To. If you found my videos helpful, please hit subscribe and stay tuned for new videos. This video is part three of deploying Avaya Session Manager 7.1. In part three, we're going to upgrade our Avaya Session Manager to 7.1.3 Service Pack 4. Then we're going to install our Security Service Pack 1. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to open our WinSCP application and connect to our session manager. Once logged in, navigate to where your session manager software is located and transfer the files to your session manager. For the upgrade and security pad install, we are going to transfer two files, the 7.1.3.4 ISO and session manager 7.1 SSP3.bin file. Choose those files and drag them to the root home forward slash cuss directory. If you watch my how to upgrade and patch system manager video, you'll remember that I directed you to transfer the files to the root SW library directory. When you first get connected to your session manager via WinSCP, you'll notice that it logs you onto the root home forward slash cuss directory and transferring the files to this directory is preferred. The files have finished transferring. You can close your WinSCP application. Next, open PuTTY or your M Remote NG application and log into your session manager via SSH. Once logged in, you should be under the root home forward slash cus directory. Before we upgrade our session manager, I'm going to display the current version by typing SW version. I'm going to make note of it and compare it after the upgrade to make sure the implementation was successfully deployed. Next, List your directory by typing ls space minus l, then hit enter. You should see the software you just transferred from your computer. We are first going to install the 7.1.3.4 upgrade file. Type upgrade sm base and the file name, then hit enter. The session manager will start the verification of the file. It has completed verifying the file. Now it's asking me to read the user license agreement by pressing any key to start. Next, it's asking me to accept the terms. I'm going to type Y for yes. Next, the upgrade process has started. Next, it's giving me a message stating that a reboot will be required in order to complete the upgrade. Press enter to continue or control C to abort. If you have not put your session manager in maintenance mode, this will be a good time to do it. I'm going to press enter. Before continuing with the upgrade, session manager did a check and saw that my system was not in maintenance mode. I don't have any services running in this session manager, so I'm going to type yes to continue with the install. If your session manager is in production, please put it in maintenance mode before upgrading or patching your system. The install will now continue without further intervention. The upgrade was successfully completed and it took about 20 minutes to complete. During the process, session manager rebooted and now I am logged in. Next, I'm going to verify the version we are running by typing SW version then hit enter. As you can see, we are now running 7.1.3.4. We can now move forward to installing our security service pack. First, we're gonna display our directory by typing LS space minus L. Before we install the patch, please note that when you upgrade session manager using an ISO just like the 7.1.3.4 ISO we just installed, you use the upgrade SM command. When you install a patch that ends with a bin, just like the one we're about to install, you use the patch SM command. For this next patch, type pad sm base and the file name then hit enter session manager is now verifying the file the system will be rebooted after the patch is applied do you wish to continue i'm going to type yes session manager has now started the installation process the patch has been successfully deployed and session manager was rebooted during the process i am now logged in and i'm going to verify the new software version by typing sw version as you can see the security patch was successfully installed we are now running on the latest session manager 7.1 Security Service Pack 1 and Session Manager 7.1.3 Service Pack 4. Next, we're going to log on to our System Manager to make sure our Session Manager is in the Accept New Service Mode. Once logged in, go to Elements, then Session Manager, and that will take you to the Session Manager dashboard. And as you can see, it's in Denied New Service. I'm going to check mark my Session Manager, then I'm going to click on Service State, and I'm going to choose Accept New Service. I'm going to Confirm, and my Session Manager is now ready to accept SIP registrations. This concludes our tutorial. Today we upgrade our session manager to 7.1.3 service pack 4. Then we installed our session manager 7.1 security service pack 1. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.